21 Icon South Africa is an annual project featuring South Africans who made an extraordinary contribution to the country. Well, Adrian's in studio now to tell us a little bit more about this project. Adrian, welcome. It's so nice to see you again. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, well, I tell you, I mean, for South Africans who don't know you, um, I think they know your photograph, though. I mean, if they don't, don't know who the man is who took it, that magnificent photograph of Madiba looking into that mirror. Uh, it's the, yeah, I it suppo suppose one of your most recognized pieces in this project, this 21 Icons yeah, project. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, it's a portrait of Madiba, and it went around to, I think, about 60,000 newspapers yeah. around the world. Yeah. Um, and the project last year touched 130 million people globally. So it ran for five months in the Wall Street Journal, the London Times, the Australian. And it was a big thing for us to show a positive South Africa. That's amazing. And I mean, it really did. It did so well here in South Africa and around the world. And you, you had some of the most incredible individuals that you photographed. Now it's the second edition. So mm. let's talk about the second edition. Who are some of the people that you're looking at that you have started photographing already? Oh, look, uh, people like Albie Sachs, MTS Salomon. The, 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 the people through this second round are... Uh, there's, there's no sort of uh, seniority. It's, it's just processing that South Africa as a community is just as, I guess, uh, nourishing, just as positive as it's always been. Yeah. And, and the message is that this community just keeps on moving forward. We've lost Nelson Mandela, yeah. and now the people I've met through this second series have just been absolutely extraordinary. Mind-boggling. Let's talk about some of them. Talk to us about some of the photos that we're going to see now. Um, we, we saw, well, there's, we, we don't want to talk about you. Let's, let's not talk about Let's me, talk yeah. about the arch. Uh, Archbishop Desmond Tutu. He's amazing. Coolest man so on the is planet. He, is he in the first? He's in, in the, the first, first series. Yeah, he's in the first series. Okay. But the way this, the way this project works is that you, we combine the first series with the second series. So what you're seeing now are photos of the first series. Kumi Naidu, yeah. uh, global leader of Greenpeace. This, this photograph here? Yeah. yeah. Uh, That's Kumi Naidu there, yeah. That's a brilliant photo. So what, what were you trying to get here? Uh, Kumi Naidu was all about a man who'd go to the ends of the earth to stand up for what is wrong, yeah. to make what is wrong right again. Um, and the photos you're seeing now are all the behind the scenes of Series 1. What we will launch today yes. is Series 2. So the portraits will come out, the films will come out, um, the behind the scenes will come out, and just like... This year, season one, there'll be a long-form documentary at the conclusion of Excellent. the series. Of everything that you've done, what happened behind the scenes exactly. and some of those those incredible moments. So, okay, so we, we're looking at, at, at number one. Uh, number two, let's let's see some of the guys that you've, or some of the people, that the individuals that you've done. Um, <laughs> Imtiaz Suleiman, uh, mm. the founder of the Gift of the Givers. I mean, he has to be one of the most incredible individuals I know. that does some of the most amazing work. What do you do with a guy like him? who's well, been to areas in the world that are so devastated. How do you capture his essence? Look, just by spending time with him and what's wonderful about people like him, he was a revelation to me. To think that a man like that is living in this country and to be able to bring him photographically and through interviews and films and introduce him to South Africa, that's a revelation. What, what, doing something with the arts or doing something with Nelson Mandela or Hugh Masekela, there's nothing revelationary about that. Yes. We know those people. Yes. But MTS and absorbing that a South Africa should really believe in itself. This community really needs to turn around and say, hang on, we have got amazing people here. So MTS is somebody who spends his life, has given the last 25 years of his life going into conflict zones, going into third world countries, going into the most distressed communities on this planet and helping them. And that man is a South African, a proud, proud, proud South African. And I think, that's, I think that is just so fantastic. You look at the world, the world is broken. Mm. At the moment, the world is broken. We go past televisions, it's just white noise. What's happening in Syria, what's happening in Iraq, um, it's just white noise for us at the moment. And I think as a South African community, we can really absorb that we have people here who are making a difference. And it is time for us to turn around and say, hang on a second, we've lost Nelson Mandela, but this community, this country is sustainable. It's not perfect, yeah. but there are so many positives. And the people who make it happen are us, are the community. And to shine, shine a light on those people, to take photographs, to interview them, to introduce them to people within the community who are also South African, mm. I think is enlightening. I think, it's a, I think it's a wonderful thing that I'm able to do. Yeah. Forget my photos, forget anything to do with that side of it. The aspect of uniting a community 
and the aspect of that communication and that dialogue is is what is really fulfilling for me and for the guys who yeah. put the project together. It is amazing. I mean, I think I think the, the, the work that you're doing is is incredible in highlighting these almost unknown faces, especially in series two, which mm. have done so much and we don't even know mm. that we as South Africans don't know what these incredible individuals are doing. Um, somebody else that's featured and somebody that for me is 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 incredible as well is Frida Janwana. Yeah. Uh, so you you managed to get her. Um, as, as one of the, the icons in the second series. That must have been quite interesting working with her. Absolutely. Just to understand that a person that I knew of, mm -hmm. then to spend time with that person and to understand what it means to be close, to have a personal connection. And, that, and that's what you get when you're taking a photograph. You get a personal connection with these people and then you do an interview with them and to really understand what their life has entailed and how selfless much of their life has been is is a fantastic experience but the big focus for us and for uh, our team for the project for the sponsors was a South Africa that's living in the present yeah it's one thing to turn around and look back at the past and it's one thing to turn around and say tomorrow's gonna be better but none of that will happen unless we look after today yeah. and this group of people and last year's group of people are people who are looking after a South Africa in the present yeah, people that are doing absolutely the, the hard now. work so that, yeah, that, yeah. that everything going forward is good. Um, I, I, I'm sure, Adrian, your name is out there so much from some of these incredible pieces that you've, you've brought out. Do people approach you to, to do portfolios of themselves privately? Is it work that you do? or? Yeah, really? I do get approached. I don't, I don't really do it you don't very really often. Want to no, do it. No, no. Yeah. no, it's not my thing. But um, yeah, look, it's, we get increasingly people coming up to us all the time saying, we saw. Uh, those films, I love the one in the arch, I saw it on the plane, yeah. or I saw it in the airports, or I saw it on television. Um, the great thing about digital, this lives forever it on does. our website, 21icons.com, you go there, it's like going into a porthole where yeah. you can just start to understand and see what makes up South Africa right now. Yeah. And um, it, it is, it's very satisfying, and it's not, it's, it's not really an ego trip, it, it's more a sense of five years ago, we sat in a room and said, you know what, South Africa is an incredible community and it's not showcased in the right way. And to actually see that body of work move through and for people to get involved, absorb it, get on the bandwagon, momentum creates momentum, share the photos, share the posters, share these stories, that for us is, is a huge, hugely revelationary and very satisfying. E even the sponsors, and I'm not, this is not a, a sponsor sort of... Yeah, but for them it is... For those guys, you've got to understand, a bald bloke showed up in their offices a couple of years ago and <laughs> said, hey, this is a great idea. Yeah. And Mercedes make cars. Yeah. You know, Nikon make cameras, so it was a better fit, but you had momentum asset management. These guys get on board now and they believe in it, not because of the ROI, not because of the exposure for them, but because they think it's the right thing. They, think it's a they get idea. behind it because they want to be part of a South African community. And I think it's all just, it's a wonderful thing to have us back on the show now. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a it's nice amazing. thing to share it. Well, I can't wait to have you back when it's all out. The photographs are done and out there in the public and published. It is a book eventually. The series one is, the book launches for series one in about two weeks. Good. The exhibition's running in Mabinang, yeah. and that exhibition will now move around the country okay. for Series 1. So that's the books, the films, the whole thing. Yeah. And then the same thing will happen every year. Okay, for book two, good. I want my book, and I want no it problem. signed. No After problem. all this time we've been through together. Yeah, no problem. So that's awesome. I can't wait for it. All right, Adrian, thank you very much for joining. Good luck with the uh, part two of the 21 Icon series. It's a stunning, stunning thing. If you haven't seen it, please visit the website, 21icons.com. You'll see Adrian's portraits there of some of the most amazing South Africans that have done brilliant work for our country. The intention is to inspire ordinary South Africa or citizens to, to learn from and emulate the lives of these remarkable South Africans, as well as to encourage individuals to fulfill a meaningful purpose through active citizenry, rather than dwelling on the past or passively waiting for things to improve, as well as to focus on living in the present. Adrian, again, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.